let's look at how to inspect your equipment's hydraulic system. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. To get started, prepare your machine for service. We're inspecting a 938 wheel loader, but no matter what cat machine you have, you'll be looking at similar components. Now, start up the engine. You want to listen carefully for noises like whining or grinding. These sounds could mean pump cavitation or that there's a loose or failed bearing. Now you can shut down the machine. Turn the key to the on position and move the levers back and forth to release hydraulic pressure. Before continuing your inspection, make sure components have had time to cool off. As you walk around, check sight gauges to see if you need to add any fluids. Look around the steering and brake valves for leaks and damaged hoses. The same goes for the hydraulic pump area. Plus, look for loose or damaged hose clamps. Inspect the oil cooler and condenser lines for leaks around connections and for worn hoses. And make sure the fan motor connection points are free of leaks. Leaks may not be obvious around the lift and tilt cylinders. Instead, you might see dirt buildup around seals. And you'll want to make sure there's no damage to cylinder rods, linkage pens, or joints. The most important thing is to find out where your hydraulic components are and check them often. If you see anything concerning, it's time to service your equipment. For more information and support, contact your cat dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.